Welcome to the Rolex Shutter Installation Video. In this video, we'll show you the proper way to install a basic shutter with a motor and override. Before installing a rolling shutter, check that you have the proper equipment. Box housing, shutter curtain, rails, L angle, plug buttons, and screws. For the manual override installation, you will need universal, crank handle, and maxi stops. Here are the tools required. Parts checklist, tape measure, large three to four foot level, utility knife, number two Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, wire stripper, needle nose pliers, channel locks, small hacksaw, caulking gun, power drill and appropriate bits, and correct height ladders. Before installing each shutter, take a moment to measure the box housing, curtain, and rails to ensure that you have the correct shutter for each opening. Measure the top and bottom of the given opening and watch for issues with the wall surface being out of level. Remove box cover lid and turn it so the top side is on the ground. Insert each of the rails into the box cover. Then tilt the shutter frame against the wall where the shutter will be mounted. Be cautious when leveling the rails on the rolling shutters. Proper leveling ensures that the shutter curtain will roll up smoothly and not impact the side of the rails. Make a mark on the wall after the level is set and prepare to drill. While holding the rail in position, drill pilot holes in the top and bottom holes of the rail. Place screws in the holes to secure the rail to the wall. It is important to use a measuring tape to check the width of the second rail before drilling and inserting the second set of screws. Measure the top and bottom of the rail before securing the rail to the wall. Use a long drill bit to mark the wall where the universal will be installed. Remove the box housing from the rails and finish drilling the hole. Be careful not to push too hard when drilling into the interior. Replace the box after you are finished drilling. This video will demonstrate a wiring application that goes through the wall. Using a level, make small light marks that can be removed and lead around to the point where the hole will be drilled. Remove the rail that will carry the electrical wiring from the motor to the switch. Make a pilot hole with a quarter inch bit. Use a boring bit to widen the hole, making it easier to receive the wiring and to prevent it from being damaged when pulling it through. Realign the rail against the wall and mark the position for the drill hole. Start with a quarter inch bit and have an assistant check to see that the whole angle was drilled successfully. Switch to a half inch bit and widen the hole. Feed the motor wiring through the railing, ensuring to use the enclosed box inside the rail. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull out the wiring through the drilled end. 
Be cautious not to accidentally cut the wire against the drill hole. Reattach rail and box housing to rail and wall, but do not secure with screws. Feed the wiring through the drill hole to the switch box. Secure the rail back to the wall with two screws. Feed the universal through the drill hole. Then mark the exit point of the universal next to the box housing. Cut the universal up to two inches inside the mark with a hacksaw. Mount the universal with screws. Connect the wiring to the power switch. For wiring applications, consult the manufacturing manual specifications for the given product. Use a box blade to cut the packaging where the cardboard overlaps to prevent scratching the shutter. Insert the top slat into the spring lock hangers attached to the axle. In a larger shutter, it may be necessary to install the curtain in sections at a time. Use the switch to roll the curtain up into the box. Use a piece of cardboard and a pair of channel locks to carefully bend the outer portion of the rail outwards 3 centimeters. Repeat the process on the other rail. This is only necessary on larger, maxi-sized slats. Feed the shutter curtain into the rails and test the shutter to see that it rolls down properly. Set the height limitation with a long screwdriver or drill bit. Consult your manual for details on setting limits, which vary by motor company. Mount the angle flush with the back corner of the shutter, then install screws. Finish installing the remaining screws into the rails. Pull off the protective plastic covering. Insert plug buttons. Replace box cover. Install the maxi stops. Test the manual override. Caulk edges and top of housing of the shutter. and clean up any debris left from installation. For any questions regarding installation or this video, please call ROLAC at 1-888-2-ROLAC or contact us through our website at www.rolac.com.